We're back here at Baltimore Streetcar Museum with the C145. We have a lot of progress to show and we are rapidly getting close to completion for phase one, which is the exterior car body restoration, which will also complete the Eagle Scout project for Matthew Nahn. Uh, there'll be a great milestone. We scoped out the project in the winter of 2018, started working on in March of 2019. Here we are in August of 2020, and we will be substantially complete by the end of this month. So let's walk front to back and see some of the things recently that have been done. All the hardware has been mounted back on the ends. The headlight has been mounted. The car itself, all parts of the car, other than some trim and some details, have been painted at least three times. We do have a final touch up to do on both the green and the black. The paint is substantially complete. Uh, I mentioned the front details. We have both of the wooden steps made. This one was mounted today. We will mount the other one hopefully next week. Uh, we finished all the trim other than this one piece here. Uh, the door thresholds, we had one which was beyond salvation and the Baltimore shop came and made us another one. They finished it today, it was primed. We'll mount that and mount the door thresholds which will complete that. Uh, some other details as we walk around recently, you can see the bolts up on the car. These hold the wheel which was used to raise and lower the broom and the broom controller. They are the last pieces of hardware that had to be removed to complete the car siding. They are now complete. Uh, you can see some marks here, just some final putty on some holes. We still have two holes on the ends, which we have to actually get a plug for. Uh, they were where spotlights were at in Pittsburgh. But throughout the rest of the car, any other holes now are patched and filled. Summary, have a first coat of paint. Let's see what else here. The door thresholds have been mounted. Uh, Mike Lawson, over a year ago, took these home, stripped them. Uh, sandblasted them, they're now in, they're now installed. All the structural repairs under the steps have been completed as well. Uh, and if you look up as we walk along, you'll see these plates. That it's better on the other side, but these plates uh, that go between the sections of the letter board, that wooden board, they are all 100% mounted as well. Mike Lawson also made some replacements for that for us. Um, I imagine final touch-up still needs done. We also painted the areas behind the uh, steel truss today. Uh, Juan Lucas, a new volunteer who has been down very faithfully, finished that today. Uh, the windows, you can see the windows are not in. They're in progress as of earlier this week. Jerry Satarelli, our master carpenter, had completed six of the 10 windows. Uh, they will be put in, we're estimating August 29th. Some other details as we walk around. I mentioned the lights and the hardware, the trolley catchers are mounted. We will put new ropes on as one of the final steps towards completion. The whistles, which Mike Lawson restored, have been put on as well. Uh, literally, we are down to, if you want to say punch list, a final touch up, lettering uh, phase two, which will be the interior. Uh, Buster came by today, already looked at the lettering inside and wants to get started on what needs to be done there. So we really appreciate the support. We can continue to use the support as we move through each phase of the project. But we are in the very final stages now of completing phase one, which is a huge milestone again for the museum and for our Eagle Scout candidate who adopted this project, of which when the project is done, there will be over 1,000 hours invested by the entire team. Uh, the typical Eagle project is about 100 hours. So that gives you an idea of the magnitude of the work that's been done.